Welcome guys to today's class. In today's video, we want to discuss another important experiment in physics that is experiment on verification of Ohm's law. You will still remember what Ohm's law states that potential difference known as voltage is directly proportional to what? Current. Yes. Potential difference directly proportional to current. And so V equals to what? R what? I. Where that R is constant. The R is constant called effective resistance. So this experiment is to verify. Is it true that voltage or potential difference is directly proportional to current? That is, the higher the potential difference, the higher the current. That is what we want to verify. Or whether we will be getting the higher the current, the lower the potential difference. Or whether you will be getting the higher the potential difference, the lower the what current. We want to verify that in this experiment. And so, it is to the investigate how the potential difference V across a resistor varies with the current that flows through it in order to determine the resistance of the word resistor. This is a circuit diagram, the setup. Are you getting it? Where this is the standard resistor, the ammeter, the cell, the K, the variable resistor of what we call real start, and the voltage. Now look at the apparatus. Yes, we can use a variable resistor which could be in the form of a real start. Or we use five one home resistor by one. Add another one two, add another one three, add another one four. That means we will be using the formula E equals to what? I bracket R plus what? R. We are here. This one home resistor will be taken to be our internal what resistor, yes, because real start of variable resistor measures internal resistor, uh, internal resistance of the circuit. Are you getting it? So we'll be taking our R to be this one home and all of you, okay? One home, two home, three home, four home, five home, as the case may be. The I we are to get so. A cell 3 volts, the E is 3 volts, electromotive force is 3 volts. Are you getting it? Let's see the procedure. Connect the circuit as shown. Set the sliding contact of the real start at a point so that it enables a measurable current through the circuit. Connect only one resistor from this chain into the circuit with the key closed. Read and record. Now, this is for us to follow. We are to follow this if we are to perform this experiment live and direct. But the essence of this video is to see how we can get these readings without what touching the apparatus. And so, to get the reading, we say that E is what? 3. We will use two formulas to get our values. E equal to I bracket R plus R. Where this is the external resistance and this is internal resistance and this is current. We also use V equals to I what? R. Let's see. E is 3. Now, when we perform this experiment, the standard resistance given to, the standard resistor given to us is 1.5 ohm. And so we use it throughout the experiment without varying it. It is standard. Are you getting it? 1.5 plus what? 1. The next one will be, we change this one to 2, we change this one to 3, and so on. That is how to do it. So we now say, this plus this is 2.5, use it to divide 3. We have 3 divided by 2.5. That will be giving you 1.2. I equal to 1.2. What will be your V? V equal to IR. That is 1.2 times 1.5. Okay, 1.2 times 1.5, 1.8. We have here 1.80, we have here 1.20. We have started putting our values, okay? So, that is how we follow to get other ones and see how to plot the graphs and all of you. 
to continue making our tables, we change here to what to two plus this is three point five. We say three divided by three point five will have zero point eight six. We will have zero point okay zero point nine. Let's use zero point nine. Why we are using 0 0.9 is because what you can get in Ameta, Ameta has its reading accuracy, and that is 0 0.1 ampere. 0 0.1 ampere. So, like I'm to write 0 0.9, 0 0.1 ampere, that is 0 0.9. I'm just attaching this zero to make it what? Look well. I mean, to make it be uniform. Yes. But if we write, let's say, 0 0.8c, you can't get 0 0.8c from your ammeter. So they will not know that you didn't perform the experiment. So you just make it to be a one, a one decimal place. Okay? Then attach 0 to beautify it. You write 0 0.90. Then 0 0.9 times 0 times 1.5. That will be giving you 1.4. We will use 1.4 approximately. For voltage, uh, yes, we change here to three. We change it to three. So when you change it to three, one point five plus three will be giving you what? That is this arrow is what is increasing by one. Yes, three divided by four point five will give you zero point seven, approximately zero point seven zero. Then multiply it by 1.5, which is this external resistor. We say 0 0.7 times 1.5. 1.1 approximately. We go again, change here to 4. 4 plus 1.5 will give you what? 5.5. So 3 divided by 5.5. I will be equal to so this come down 3 divided by 5.5 0 0.55 you write 0 0.55 yes you can get it in between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 0 0.55 times 1.5 0 0.8 0 0.8 yes we go again Change here to be 5. 5 plus 1.5, 6.5. Use it to divide 3. 3 divided by 6.5, 0 0.5. 0 0.5, 0, approximately. 0 0.5 times 1.5. 0 0.75, okay? In between 0 0.7 and what? 0 0.8. Yes, with this, you have gotten your table of values for this experiment. Knowing that E equal to I bracket R plus R, V equals to I R. Then you use these two formulas to go following the instruction. Okay? So, let's see how to what? Do the graph plotting and R. But before then, this is decreasing bar. The current we are decreasing because there is much resistor, but the voltage also we are decreasing. That means the lower the current, the lower the voltage. Or the lower the voltage, the lower the current because voltage is a driving force. So if the driving force is low, the current will be what? Low. Are you getting it? So from table, it follows or improves this what? Home slope. But let's see from the graph whether it will give you a positive slope. We also give you a positive slow, it also proves home slow before we go into question solve. Now we have gotten our table of values, and these are the questions we have to sort out. We have to plot the graph, but we don't have the standard graph, we are just using a sketch of the graph to understand how it will go. First thing you do is you write your word date. Write the title. A graph of 
I am Amper against V in votes. Then take your Cartesian axis. Label your Cartesian axis. I'm labeling my own. That means here is my I in Amper and here is my V in votes. Then I'm to choose appropriate scale. They didn't specify that we should start from the origin. So we have to choose either from the origin or without starting from the origin. Now considering what I have here, considering what I have here, the least in the I axis is 0 0.5 and the least in V is 0 0.75. So not starting from the origin, we make it to balance well. Like, I will write 0 0.5 here, and write 0 0.7 here. This is for horizontal, and this is for vertical. And I will bracket it. Horizontal and vertical. Here, I will be using 0 0.7. Wow, I will be using 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. I will use 0 0.6 and put here. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1.0, 1 1.1, and 1 1.2. Then for here, I'll be using 0 0.7, 0 0.9, one point one, one point three, one point five, one point seven, one point nine, and two point one. Then that means I'm using two centimeter for horizontal, two centimeter for zero point two vote votes, two centimeter. 0 0.2 volts then this is 2 centimeter 0 0.1 volts are you getting it and so that is about what i use here to see that it balances well in the graph then i will now say 1.2 against 1.8 1.2 against 1.8 1 1.8 should be between 1.7 and 1 so i will put here 0 0.9 against 1.4 1.4 then 0 0.7 against 1.1 1.1 1 .1. 0 0.55 against 0 0.8 here is 0 0.7 0 0.8 and here is 0 0.55 in between in between here and 0 0.5, we have 0 0.55. So 0 0.8 should be this 0 0.5 half. 0. Uh, this is 0 0.5. 0, so 0 0.55 should be somewhere here. Then this 0 0.9, 0 0.8 should be here. Then 0 0.5 against 0 0.75. Here is 0 0.5 and uh, here is 0 uh, 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So here is 0 0.7. I'm looking for 0 0.55. Here 0 0.8. Here 0 0.7. Here is 0 0.8, so 0 0.55 should be somewhere here. Then I'm to locate it with 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Here is 0 0.5. Okay, we've gotten 0. Point. Here is 0 0.55. Here is 0 0.55 against 0 point what? 8. 0 0.55 against 0. 
Yes, yeah, 0 0.8, please. This size. This is 0 point what? 0 0.55 against 0 0.8 is here. Like they have. Look at 0 0.8 and look at 0 0.55. So they will intercept here. So we have located our points. We have located our point. You can see a direct relationship. Next is for us to put our words line of best fit so that we can get our slope. Now we have succeeded to locate our line of best fit. Remember, we said for you to get perfect line of best fit, you have to get the mean of your words, vertical axis and mean of your horizontal. When you get the mean, plot it to get your centroid. That is what you see I circled here. Are you getting it? I say 1.2 plus 0 0.9. That is this one of current plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.55 plus 0 0.5 divided by how many are there? Five readings divided by five to give you 0 0.8 approximately. Then you do the one on V on 1.8 plus 1.4 plus 1.1 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.75 divided by 5 to give you 1.2 approximately. So look at your 1.2 and look at 0 0.8. That will tell you the perfect points where your line of best fit should pass through so we have gotten our line of best fit it must pass through that centroid it must pass through that word centroid so when we are done with that we have to get our word slope to get our slope we You see, we now say change in I and change in what? V. Change in I and change in what? V. Change in I. What is the highest? Since here is one point. One point. Okay, this is one point one. This is one point two. We will take care to be one point one two. We are using a sketch of graph. So use your perfect graph to work to do this plotting. Then take here. Here is 0 0.6. Take here 1.7. Take here. So since here is 0 0.8 and here is 0 0.9, 0 0.85. We say slope is equal to change in what? I or over change in what V. Please don't forget to include your scale. Please, if you watch any of my video where I forgot to put my scale, please take that correction. Put the scale, don't forget it. I as is in I as is we have 2 cm represent 0 0.1 ampere. In V as is, 2 cm represents 0 0.2 volts. You include it so that the graph will look sweet. This minus this, 1.12 minus 0 0.6. 1.12 minus 0 0.6 will be giving us 0 0.52. All over 1.7 minus 0 0.85. 1.7 minus 0 0.85. Go to 1.7 minus 0 0.85. 0 0.85. So you'll be having 0 0.52 divided by 0 0.85. You'll be having 0 0.61.
Zero point six one ampere over what volt? The unit of current is ampere. The unit of volt is volt. So we say take this one point one two. Take this zero point six. And take this one point seven. Take this zero point eight five. So that is to make sure that we have correct. Okay, so that is what we got from this sketch of graph. You use you have to use the standard graph to what do your own and see what you could get from it. Okay. I've gotten a slope. They say find the standard error in the slope. Wow. To get the standard error in the slope, we take that point that fall out with the centroid. Watch it. Look at the point that fall out. We take it with the centroid. So when we take it with the centroid, we will be getting a slope. We have to get a slope. We get the slope. We get the slope to be. We get this. Then. This is 1.0 minus, this is 0 0.7, then for horizontal, this is a 1.3, 1.5, so this is taken to be 1.4 minus, this is taken to be 1.1. 1 .1. Are you getting it? Slope of what's fit? Change in I over what this is for the best and this is for the worst change in v this minus this 1.0 minus 0 0.7 1.0 0 0.7 1.4 1 1.1 all over 1.4 minus 1.1 that will be giving me 0 0.3 over 0 0.3 that will be equal to 1 ampere over what? Volts. 1 ampere over volts. Now, there are error. Error. Error in slope will be equal to change. 1 minus 0 0.61 modulus. That will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.61. So that means get the difference of the best, the one of line of best width and the one of line of worst width. Get the difference. If the difference is negative, take the modulus that make it to be positive. That will be equal to 0 0.39. That is error in the what? In the slope. We have gotten the error in slope and the slope. Therefore, we package our slope as. 0 0.61 slope equals to 0 point plus or minus 0 0.39 ampere over voltage. 0 0.61 plus or minus 0 0.39 ampere over voltage. Use a standard graph sheet to do the plotting and get your right answer. Okay? This is just a sketch of graph. But when you get this, if the market scheme said the value is 1 ampere over volts, the implication is that if this is not in the market scheme, this plus this would be in the market scheme, or this minus this. So either of these three, one must be in the market scheme. Either this exactly, or this plus this, or this minus this. That is how we do it, okay? So we have gotten our error and we have seen how to package it. Now, given that V equal to IR, where R is the resistance of resistors, use the result of the experiment to determine the value of R. To determine the value of R, you tell them that T 
since we plotted the graph of i against v, this sign of proportional is placed with equal to k. Are you getting it? Where this becomes your what? Slope. That k becomes your slope. So we say, since this k replaces 1 over r, so as to obey Holmes' law, which says that v equal to i r, i times this, i times this, i r, to obey it, the k have to be equal to 1 over r. Are you getting it? That means k is equal to 1 over r. Our k is equals to 0 0.61. 1 over 0 0.61. 1 divided by 0 0.61 will have it to be 1.6 ohms. You have your R to be 1.6 ohms. Okay? Now, if you want to get the standard error in R, you say standard error in what? R. Standard error in what? R. Standard error in R is equal to R times square root of. Since R is got 1 over K, that is K inverse. You say minus 1. This means 1 over K means K raised power minus 1. K inverse. So carry that minus 1, put it here. Times what? Error in K. What is the error in K? We got the error to be 0 0.39. 0 0.39. Since our k is the slope, the error was 0 0.39. We say 0 0.39 all over. What is the k? K means the slope. Slope is 0 0.61. 0 0.61. So that means the formula for this is, is r times square root of the power the power of k times error in k all over k all what squared all squared okay that means power of square root will take care of the power of 2 we will be having sr to be equal to r is 1.61 1.6 times Minus 1 times this. Minus 1 times this. Before this minus 1, you know when we square this, when we square minus 1, you'll be having 1. Square this, you have it. Square this, you have it. So this will not be plus because of that power of 2. Power of 2 will clear that minus to be what? Plus. And still have the power of 2 there. So as it will take care of the word square root. And so we now say 1 times 0 0.39 all over 0 0.61. This minus chain to plot because of that power of 2. So we now press it in our calculator. We have 1.6 times 0 0.39 times 1 divided by 0 0.61 divided by 0 0.61. That will be giving you 1.0. SR is equal to 1.0 watts. 1.0 ohm. 1.0 ohm. Therefore, that means that your R is 1.6 plus or minus 1.0 watts ohm. R is 1.6 plus or minus 1.0 ohm. That means either it is 1.6 ohm or 1.6 plus 1 ohm or 1.6 minus 1 ohm. That is your what? R. Equals to your R. We are, this is the error in the R and this is the R itself. Okay? We we'll go to the last question. To solve the last question, to solve the last, a cell of EML supplies current of this one element whose resistance is 1.5 will find the internal resistance of this. We said that E is equal to I bracket R plus R. 
where this is internal resistance and this is R. Therefore, A equals to I R plus I R. This goes here, A minus I R all over I equal to R. What is your work? A. A is 3 minus I R. 1 times R. 1 times 1.5 is 1.5. All over I, I is what? 1. That will be given. 3 minus 1.5 is 1.5. Divided by 1, 1.5. 1.5. That means the answer to that B is 1.5. That is where we stop for today's experiment. Thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to click like button, click subscribe, share to your friends, and comment on questions you have. But please know that. This minus that should be the power of this scale. The minus is changed to plus because of this power of two. And see finally, power of two will take, take care of this square root. That means square root bracket one minus one times 0 0.39 over 0 0.61 all square. We will still give you this. Just press your calculator and sort it out to confirm. Okay? Thanks for watching today's video.